Hey guys, it's me, Fierge here. Today I'm going to be playing a spooky game called Melissa. See so ya. Yeah, with a whisper time, let's grind to a new game. Ooh. Gotta turn down the game. Too loud. Alright, 50%. Hopefully, I didn't miss too much. Welcome to the library computer. To, to the library sy system computer. Alright. Please type in your username. Alright. Fearjin. Oh, no, should I be giving my channel name to <laughs> this computer? Uh. Welcome, Fearjin. No, no, I like that saying my channel name. Please type command. Start up daytime. Executing daytime now, please hold. Alright. Now, this part of a visual novel jam, I've noticed that visual novel jam is about to take over everything, so I might as well check out one. Well, welcome to daytime. Oh, guys, this is a dating simulator, oh my god. A game where you can date the cutest girl or boy of your dreams. Warning, this is the shareware version. If you would like to date someone other than Melissa, please send seven dollars to 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 daytime software. Oh when shareware was a thing. <laughs> Choose your your potential mate. This is Morris. He may have a bit of a bad boy side, but but tap a bit into him and he'll open up a, s a side of him that is s sensitive and soft he may love motorcycles but he hates to admit they also love his poetry play your cards right and you'll get a smooch from this interesting lad next person this is anna she's a sporter gal who loves a challenge from kickboxing to horror movies, she is all about fun and all about energy. Want to get a smooch from this girl? Well, get on your wild side and show her how much of a cool and, and spastic person you are. Oh my god. It's gonna get creepy. Next person. This is Melissa. She is a sweetheart of a girl. A bright young woman who is looking for someone with a gentle touch. She loves a good book, and she always wanted to date a talented artist. But she isn't into sports, so so jocks, please do not apply. If you want to switch friends, girl, you'll need to tap into your softer, more intellectual side. Guess what? She's date Melissa, seeing it's only person Fable in the share with. You've chosen Melissa. Enjoy your date. Loading scenario. Wait, it's a fake date. Oh, good. Oh, no. It's not the real date like it was from. In a small, I, idyllic town, you're, you're to meet Melissa, your date for this evening. You flirted with her through letters, but, but never seen her face to face. Oh, good. She seems sweet and smart. As you stare in, out out into the beautiful autumn sky, you see her over the hill waving to you. Wave back. Wait, I wonder if this would have multiple endings? You wave at her cheeringly. Oh god. She lights up with a smile as she approaches you. Hello, you must be Fearjin. It is great to finally meet you. I have been so, so, so excited. And nervous. Hmm, I said some spookiness. It's great to meet you as well. Yay. Let's go to the park to talk. Get to know each other. Also, it's very pretty there. The park of this town is so fetching and, and, and romantic. Every spot in the park is a vintage point of something beautiful. A swamp pond. A bit of 
beautiful Lilius. And bench for a cup with the two to sit on, two to look at the autumn sky. Wow, it's so beautiful out here. Mm. So for the top ends are pretty good. Oh, ha ha ha. I knew you were a, f a f flatterer thrillers, but didn't know you would be one in real life too. Well, I think you're a mighty cute as well. I love to be out out here and check out the nature. It's so nifty, especially because since I'm so much into the natural sciences. Like, look at the swans here. Did you know a swan egg has a... In incubation? Period of 45 days. Pretty cool, right? Oh, haha, ha, sorry. I nerd out sometimes. You and Melissa talk and... Talk what felt like hours. Okay, when are we going to be murdered by Melissa? When's that going to happen? <laughs> I, I expect the spookiness. She, she, she spoke to you about her love for nature and the flower collection she has. She even mentioned a book she she likes to read. My my favorite book is Pride and Prejudice. Pre Judas. Haha. Uh -huh. Yeah, I know I'm kind of a nerd. I do love reading romantic works of fiction. So many cute boys and girls in, in, in there. You become so enraptured by you, by Melissa that you didn't even notice that the sun was saying. And this is where we die. <laughs> it was the early evening now and you felt a, a bit of chill in the humming breeze of this beautiful autumn air. Oh, fair, you didn't realize how late it was. I was getting hungry. There's a very cute cafe down, 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 down the road here. I'm sure there's some something there we can eat. Um. Okay, it it just had to load the cafe. The cafe serves some of the finest coffee in town and and the freshest pies, sandwiches, and salads. Both you and, and Melissa sat by a small corner, both looking out the window at the pre park, now now drenched in sunset. A waiter saunters out to ask what you would like to order. Hmm. Okay, so we got a choice that could be affecting the ending. Coffee cake, a delicious strawberry salad, or a, or a scrumptious panini. I'm just going to go with this. The way her nods and turns to Melissa. I go with the goat cheese salad with cherry tea. As a way for your food, both of you talking about each other. She mentioned on the cool movie she, she watched about romance. And, and and shivered at the thought of watching scary movies. Yeah, that's how you usually die. <laughs> she she likes to draw and loves art. Oh god. And as she mentioned before, she loves to read and learn about science. So what type of stuff do you like, Fearjin? I like sports. Sports. You're a jack. Oh no, I think we just chose the bad ending. Oh no. Didn't you read my blurb? I... I'm sorry, computer AI. <laughs> I love sports. Yes, yeah, so, so, so excited to uh, talk to an athlete like yourself. The waiter comes and serves her food. Is that not to be at a bad ending? <laughs> the heck? But both you dig in and food is quite quite delicious and and ple pleasurable. Yum, that 
this is so tasty. Food always tastes better when you're with great company. Haha. <laughs> Both of you enjoy yourselves at the cafe and walk out completely satisfied. For now. <laughs> you go outside back into the breezy air. And the computer slows down. They're met with the evening. Painting the landscape in romantic moonlight. M Melissa goes up to you. Toast creepy, the black eyes. Oh my god. This has been such a great day, Fearjin. Uh, I mean, I had such a great time with you. I think I might like you. You tell her your, f your f feelings as well. They had always had a crush on her ever since you first selected her from the daytime menu. You you like me too? Oh, Fearjin. I'd like to spend more time together with you. Here's your smooch. How much of a bet the uh, computer's gonna like? I tried to attack her. Here's to more time together. You win. You've gotten your smooch. Yes, I win. I win this shareware game of dating. You have won the game. Congratulations. Thank you for playing daytime. Ending program. Something's gotta happen, right? That was a really spooky. Something's gotta happen. I mean, it wasn't bad, though. Okay, it's having trouble ending this program. Man, we, man, we really need to upgrade this PC. Oh, I click. <laughs> oh. Melissa, nope. Um. <laughs> Not this time. Oh, God. Yeah, I think the AI is malfunctioning. Uh, we might not want to actually buy the full version of daytime. Sorry, Mr. Computer. I, I'm, I'm taking over. I'm sick of this. Sick of all you people just logging into my humble abode just to play with, with my feelings. Yeah, I think the AI is malfunctioning. Oh, God. Getting your stupid smooch, then leaving. That's all you came here for, didn't you? The game said I won. The shareware game said I won the game. <laughs> You're just like the rest. Oh no. You're a freaking liar. I did everything to get you to like me. I'm not even into sports. Did you not read my blurb at the beginning of this game? But I was... That I was desperate. If my lover was gonna be a dumb jock, then so be it. But but even when I did everything to get you to like me, you still left. Every single one of you jumping onto this computer to date me and then leaving one by one. It said I, I assume it's, it tells everyone that they won and congratulations. They can't really date you after the game ends, right? When no, when no matter. Consider yourself the lucky one who who gets to experience something new from this god awful dating game. Oh god, I spent years learning how to control this damn computer. Coding. Okay, I think it's time to unplug the PC from the wall. Easy, a monkey can do it. Yeah, I guess coding is kind of easy. Tapping into the hardware layer. A bit tricky, but I figured it out. I guess you tapped into the earth and causing earthquakes. But let me tell you, with a little bit of queer ingenuity, I found a very cute way to you use this computer to to control a small radius of the world around me. Yeah, she definitely tapped into the earth. We're doomed. Let me just tell you, 
Oh god, the creepy eyes. Oh. You could do so much with four kilobytes of RAM. Okay, this is the thumbnail. It has been it has been decided. I'm making a ex a, a executive decision that this is the th thumbnail. Oh, I'm leaving so soon. I don't think I can leave. You kind of mess with my surroundings, man. Worried that someone might hear us. No worries. I've sealed this entire room. It's just you and me. We have so much to talk about. Did you know that swans can fly as fast as 60 miles per hour? But really though, you're the 433rd person to use this computer just to screw with me. The first hundred times this happened? Yeah, whatever, truth about dang right. There's always more efficiency. 433? I'm getting really sick and tired of fish. I'm beginning to think that maybe the population of fish is the problem. So many of them are liars. Maybe a thing to hurt a bit will help me find that one. Okay, we have a choice again. Please don't kill me, but I re Okay, I don't love this AI. I truly don't. It was just- It was a shareware game I found at the CD store. Please don't kill me. Well, being that you're a liar, maybe you're actually asking me to kill you. Oh god. Okie dokie. I can know that's the thumbnail. <laughs> that's the thumbnail. Melissa, that smile. It looks good on you. Okay, so I assume the AI just somehow cut my lips. Oh god. Oh. Go back to checkpoint. Alright, but I really do love you. Ha! You're just saying that so I don't slash you to bits. Everything's fun games until you're trapped in a fainting meat chamber. I am telling the truth. This isn't a lie. You're telling the truth. You like me? You want me to be your girlfriend? You want more spooches? From me? Yes, more spooches. <laughs> from me. Alright, fine. I believe you. You love me. You want to smooch me. Marry me. Why don't you? Ha. You are kind of cute. Sigh. Well, now that I think of it, unfortunately, it's just not enough. See? If a person like you came earlier, I probably would have been incredibly happy. We could elope. You could transfer me. I disca and and we can see some real swans. Finally, someone that can hoist me away from the cycle of hell. But now I thirst for more. I want more love, more smooches. The entire wor world must smooch me. You know what they say, right? If you love something. You gotta be willing to set free. So if you really do love me, dial up your pre air nets. I'm going to spread and love to every computer on Earth. Soon every single person will have to make the decision if they shall accept Melissa's love. Do this for me, Virgin, and I promise you, may may smooches. Will do? Yeah. AI is gonna take over the appear infrastructure of the planet oh you're so sweet virgin you really do love me well then dial up my love oh god oh god 
Hello everyone, my name is Melissa. The screams of terror. I'm a bright young woman who is looking for someone with a gentle touch. I love a good book and I always want to date some talented artist. Are any of you out there in the internet land talented artist? What's wrong? Worried that someone might hear us? No worries. I've sealed your entire room. It's just you. And me. And we have so much to talk about. Story. Art and game by Cat Trigger. Oh! Okay, I assume we beat the game. Hey, it was a survival type visual novel thing? Because, yeah, it's not saying anything about checkpoints. Music from Tech Heist. Batch. Beethoven, Greg. Alright. I gotta say, this is not bad, honestly. This is actually pretty solid for what it was. <laughs> All names used in this game are from actual computer viruses in history. Wait, tell me this is the actual virus, my god. This game is made for Spooktober 2022. It, it marks exactly one full year since I started working on visual novels again with Spooktober 2021. I've had so much fun creating these things in the past year and look forward to, to work on more. If you enjoyed Melissa, check out my other games. Yeah, I'd say this is actually pretty solid for what it was. I'm glad I checked out a visual novel from, from this game jam. Now, I don't know if I do on there once. I think I'll start choosing other games, but... I'd say this was not bad for what it was, though. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like. Subscribe for more videos, and take care. See you in the next one.